Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Yaqub, and today we'll be talking about a great scholar of Islam. His name was Muhammad ibn Ismail ibn Ibrahim. He was known as Imam al Bukhari. He was born in a province called Bukhara, which was also known as Khurasan, on the 13th of Shawwal, 194 after the Hijrah. Since the beginning of his life, he faced many difficulties. His father, Ismail ibn Ibrahim, was a great scholar of hadith. He passed away when Bukhari was just a toddler, leaving him with just his brother and mother. Al-Bukhari had very weak eyesight. At the age of three, he would lose his entire sight. His mother would make sincere and constant dua, asking Allah Azza wa Jal to cure him. This period extended for a lengthy two to three years. One night, she has a dream of Prophet Ibrahim السلام, bearing the news that Allah has accepted her dua. She would rush to him to find him cured and able to see. She would be overwhelmed with joy and happiness. Al-Bukhari would memorize the entire Quran by the age of six. His mother would then sit him in the gatherings of hadith where he would fall in love with the science. A hadith is a report that is attributed to the Prophet Muhammad At the time of Bukhari, there were many evil men that wanted to harm Islam by creating false ahadith about the Prophet Bukhari would make it his goal to travel the entire world and collect authentic ahadith and publish many books. He would start his travels by going to Hijaz to perform Hajj. He would meet many scholars there and study under them. At the age of 18, he would have already written two books, At-Tariq al-Kabir and Adaya al-Sahaba wa tabiin Imam al-Bukhari would travel outside of the Hijaz to gain further knowledge. In his travels, it is said that he had documented a hadith from over 1,000 scholars. He took the great and noble duty of collecting a hadith. Out of the 600,000, Imam Bukhari writes 7,275 a hadith in his book Sahih al-Bukhari. These a hadith were carefully tested for their authenticity before being placed in the collection to a degree that no one would question it. Many scholars class his Sahih book as to be the most authentic after the Holy Quran. In year 240 after the Hijrah, Imam Bukhari would return to his hometown of Bukhara in Khurasan. He developed an illness and passed away in the village of Khartan. We learn from Imam Bukhari's story the following. That dua, one done sincerely and consistently, Allah will most definitely accept your dua. Here are three different times it's best to make your dua. When waking up at night, after performing wudu, after the obligatory prayers, the early hours, i.e. the last portion of the night until the start of Fajr, and right after Adan. We also learn the important role the mother plays in the development of her kids. Imam Bukhari's mother had him memorize the entire Quran by six and had him sit the circles of hadith. We owe the greatness of our scholars, not just to the scholars themselves, but also to those who mentored them and pushed them to be great. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If you did, be sure to hit the subscribe button and support us so we can come out with more videos like this in the future. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.